Cinco de Mayo is approaching and I'm going to show you how you can celebrate sober using Liar's non-alcoholic agave spirits. Here's how to make a non-alcoholic margarita. Step one, grab yourself a cocktail shaker. Now, in the smallest part, we're going to put in 50 milliliters of Liar's agave blanco spirit. Next up, we're going to grab ourselves some Liar's orange sec. This is your triple sec substitute and we're going to go in with 25 milliliters. Finally, you're going to grab yourself a lime and we're going to cut that in half and we're going to juice out 30 milliliters right into that shaker. And there you have it. That right there is how to make a non-alcoholic margarita that you can enjoy all through Cinco de Mayo and beyond. I'm continuing to show you how to celebrate sober. This time, I'm going to show you how to make a non-alcoholic Paloma. Here's what you're going to do. Grab a tall glass, fill that with ice. Let's grab yourself some Liars non-alcoholic agave reserve of spirit. This is your reposado substitute and we're going to go in with 50 milliliters. Next up, we're going to go in with 50 milliliters of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. To finish that off, we're going to go in with about half a shot of lime juice, a small pinch of salt, give it a stir, top it with soda water and garnish it with a grapefruit slice. Could not be easier. And there you have it. That is how you make a non-alcoholic Paloma. Enjoy. The simplest way to make a non-alcoholic tequila old-fashioned. Super simple. Two ingredients. What you're going to do is you're going to grab a little rocks glass. I've got these little Mexican recycled glass ones. Perfect for Cinco de Mayo. Then grab an orange. You're going to cut a nice peel off the orange. Express it. Drop it in. Next up, we're going to top that with ice and then pour over 50 milliliters of Liar's non-alcoholic agave reserve of spirit. This is your Reposado tequila substitute. The last thing to do is to give that a stir. That's it, that's how simple it is. That is the simplest non-alcoholic tequila old fashioned. Enjoy. Here's how to make the Batango, which is a tequila version of a Cuba Libre. Today we're making it non-alcoholic with Liars non-alcoholic agave spirits. First thing you gotta do, you're gonna grab a tall glass, grab a lime and rub that around the rim, because we're gonna rim it with salt. Plate of salt, rim that glass. Grab yourself a lime, and squeeze in about 12.5 milliliters or half an ounce or half a shot, wherever you are. And then we're gonna go in with 50 milliliters of Liars and non-alcoholic agave reserve of spirit. This is your tequila reposado substitute made non-alcoholic. And then finish that off by topping it with none other than Coca-Cola. That right there, that is the Batango. This is how to make a non-alcoholic Bloody Maria. First grab a tall glass, rim it with lime, mix together equal parts, chili flakes and soul and dip that in. In the shaker, we're gonna mix 50 milliliters of Liza Agave Blanco Spirit. This is a non-alcoholic version of a Blanco tequila. 100 milliliters of tomato juice, 10 milliliters of lime juice, two dashes of Worcestershire sauce, a spoon of hot sauce, a sprinkle of salt and a pinch of pepper. Fill that with ice and then give it a little roll to combine. Garnish it, you can get as creative as you want. Olives, rosemary, stick a pizza in there, stick a burger on top, go crazy, why not? I like to keep things classic, celery, right in, there we go.